I'm Casey with RetrosonicFidelity.com and this is one of the 32 gig iPod minis with a compact flash card that I have refurbished. So let's take a look in this demo at exactly what these look like and how they work. You can see here's the top of the device. It's very clean. I've cleaned every single plastic piece and every metal housing with a special cleaner. These housings are new and so they don't have the Apple insignia on the back but they are very shiny and professional looking. So I'm going to go ahead and unselect the hold switch. You can see how nice looking that is there. So when I'm in the music, you can have the backlight on or off. This is backlight on. If you hold down the menu button, it'll turn the backlight off. I think that's a little bit uh, more viewable for this video, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it off just for this walkthrough. So this has everything that an original iPod mini would have on it. You've got music, extras, settings, you can shuffle songs, go straight to now playing. Within the extras are some games, of course, including Solitaire. Everyone loves Solitaire and the music quiz. You can change the clock in here, you can change quite a few settings, but if you go into the music, I have filled this iPod to the brim with 30 gigs of music, my entire collection of music over the past, I don't know, 10 years. I know it's not that much, but it's all right. So you can see that the touch wheel is nice and responsive. And say we want to listen to The Dark Knight Rises. We're going to go up to D. There we go. There it is. So I'm going to select it with the middle button and we will Click on On Thin Ice, and just so you can hear this, I'm going to plug my headphones in. Click that and turn the volume up. And it sounds really good. That's just my personal opinion. If you hit the middle button, you'll get the scrubber here, so you can go however far you want to. Hit the next button to go to the next track. And if you hit this again, you get the star rating, so you can change however many stars you think this song deserves. I think this whole album deserves six stars, but iTunes won't let me go that far. And as you can see here, I've put a new screen in here, so the screen is very crisp and very clear. You can pause it by hitting the pause button. Of course, it changes the icon in the upper left, and I'm not trying to demean anyone, but you know, perhaps there's someone taking a look at this that hasn't seen an iPod Mini before, so this is how it works. And of course, while you're doing that, you can go find another song somewhere. So, yeah, let's take a listen to this. So there you go. That's how this iPod works, and there are many other features, but this should give you an idea of how sensitive the click wheel is and just what it would look like if you had one of these. We'll go ahead and select one more song just to see how that works. Now, of course, this plugs in using the standard 30-pin connector that comes with most iPods. And if you buy one at Retrosonic Fidelity, I will include a 30-pin USB cable. But if you have one from another iPod, I would suggest that too, because the ones that I have are replicas that you can buy, you know, in mass and, and get those. They work, but it doesn't click in as smoothly as some of the genuine Apple ones do, and um, I just don't know where to find those in bulk. So. If you have one or you know where to get a sweet deal on one, I would suggest that. But this is how the iPod mini works, and you can see that this menu is quite a bit more responsive than it would be if it had a hard drive in there. You can just kind of go select a song and it's ready to go. And this works really great for um, in-car systems as well. So if you have a stereo in your car, you know, with a touch screen, and it's one of those things that reads the iPod through USB and you know, you get your car menu to show you what's going on. The compact flash card 
makes that very responsive and it makes a really big difference. I've used it with a Pioneer touchscreen and it worked just great. So I would highly suggest, if you want to use this for a car iPod, that's a great idea. And then you can also hook it up to your headphone amplifier or whatever you want to do to listen to it on your personal time. So that's the iPod Mini with Compact Flash from RetroSonicFidelity.com. Thanks for watching.